ball to center on the run is Fraley. He runs well, and he's going to not be able to get to it right at the edge of the warning track. Blackman hits the bag at second, trying to turn it into a triple. Throw not in time. Woodman, fly ball, right field. Ballpark not going to hold this one, and Ole Miss takes a 2-1 to one lead. Jordan didn't play a ton a year ago, had just 23 at-bats. He hits this one to Bortles at third, to second for one, to first in time for the inning-ending double play. With that bun, if you do hit and run instead, Colby Bortles, no idea what he's doing. There are two runners. Bortles could have gotten the lead runner at third. Will Golson going to run across the diamond, and that is an unconventional double play for Ole Miss. Drive that mistake pitch a long way. This ball lined into center. It's going to fall in front of J.B. Woodman. They'll test his arm again. The throw to the plate is in time. No, it's dropped by Henry Lartigue, and then time is called. And an out is called at the plate. Both benches, players coming out, tempers flaring a little bit. Paul Maneri coming out first to get his players back, and then I think to argue a little bit. No attempt to slide by Jordan Romero coming home, and therefore Tony Maynard's the home plate umpire. Even though Henry Lartigue did not hold on to the baseball, is called out on the play. Robinson lines it into center field. Deshaun hits the bag at second. He will stop there. First and second for Ole Miss with one down. Fly ball, right field. Going back is Duplantis. He'll reach up and make the grab in the warning track. Colby Bortles flies to deep right to end the ball game. And LSU evens this weekend series at a game apiece. A big performance tonight by Alex Lane, complete game seven hitter, in which he allows three runs, two of which were earned. David Parkinson takes the loss for Ole Miss, a deciding game three tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock on ESPN2.